Hey guys, in the last episode we finished all of the main story and almost got all of our gear to pen. But we left out our awakening weapon at Tet in hopes of getting a guaranteed enhancement stone from the attraction. So the first thing we did was the invitation of I quest line to unlock the attraction quest. And in the process, we actually got a crimson flame crystal. While doing the attraction, we got another crimson flame crystal. After that, I was opening a bunch of random scrolls and suddenly a quest got completed which gives a vast dawn. I haven't even opened any boxes yet and I've already got quite good money. After Claiming the boxes from the challenge rewards, we proceed to opening some boxes. We start off by opening the boxes that we got from the attraction. Duo Crescent? Okay, that's a good start. Sungrad earring Base uh. Latens Pry Well, that was anticlimactic. Then we proceeded with opening 22 boxes from Twitch Drops. Okay, we didn't get too much from those as well. But now we're opening Dark Rift boxes. That was okay, but now we're on to the big boys. The Shakatoos boxes. First one. Forty fail stacks. Life skill boxes. Manus belt. Base. Conch Seaweed Memfrag Memfrag Now on to the Luxury Boxes Memfrags again Okay Dungrad Earrings though <gasps> Oh my god That just happened What the hell Six billion silver? The last one was a sharp, but I don't even care. What the hell? I was gonna say, I don't even like tongue grass if it's earrings, but if it's a tat, I'll freaking take it. Like, I don't even care about these anymore, to be honest. Like, okay, so we got six billion, six hundred million. 100 million. All in all, we got around 7.6 billion from those boxes. You know what? It's time to get geared up. We want to buy our crystals first, and right now we have these just from quests, so let's fill it up. Buy two Corrupteds, two Valors, two Glorious Akrad, need one more Flame, and one Rebellious. I was thinking of pre ordering it for a lower price, but you know what? I'm freaking rich, so I bought it immediately for what's been listed. Just like that, we got all our crystals. 
because now I don't want to be reckless anymore and avoid dying as much as possible. Next, we pre-order light stones, storm horse gear, pets, we want those, tongred earrings for mother's warning quest, rona rose for gift for papu, pre-order a bunch of items for thieves encyclopedia, and finally spent the rest of the silver on Dorian Margrim journal. I actually don't have enough silver for everything so I focused on getting the 1 AP and 1 DP. I spent time looking for a cheap price and I managed to find a duo boss weapon for minimum price. The cheapest for armor was 900 million so we got that. But before I turn in everything I wanted to do the book of Mark hand first because I felt like it would be such a waste if a day passes and I don't have it completed. I already had the fruits from episode 1 so all I really had to do was hunt the mobs in various areas. After finishing the adventure log except for the last page, I remember that we haven't enhanced our awakening weapon to pen and we already opened the box from that direction but we didn't get the guaranteed enhancement stone so we just enhanced the weapon using a plus 60 fail stack and I forgot that we already had a stack on but at least it succeeded on the first try. We got quite a lot of Tuvala ores from doing the Book of Markahan so we attempted to enhance our remaining accessories to pen and we actually got our ring. Since we are on Kamasilvia, we finished the gift for Papu quest first followed by the Mother's Warning and got the stats from those quests. After that, we traveled to Medea and turned in everything that we got for Dorian Margrim but I decided to hold off with actually claiming the plus 1 DP reward since I do want to make use of the drop rate buff. Next, we went absolutely ham on Bartali's adventure logs and luckily I was able to do it on the same day that Quint spawns which was crazy timing because if it weren't for that, I would've needed to wait for like three days. Before continuing Igor Bartali at the desert, I thought that it would be wise if I do the Herald's journal alongside Bartali's but oh my god I encountered this fishing nightmare. I only have time for one last bow. If I don't get a blue fish right now, I'm gonna have to do this quest for who knows how many more hours. I spent all this silver just so that I can do that quest. Now I can finally sell it back. Then I got to ride the griffin to Illy Island just to discover it. Then do the quest on my alt to use the traveler's map to complete it easily. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to use the traveler's map to Ilia Island. After that, I just had to use the traveler's map again on my main which is not on cooldown to get back to Velia. From this point on, I was just doing the Herald's journal until I got the plus 1 DP. Then hopped back doing Igor Bartali's journal, got the plus 1 AP, plus 1 DP, plus 2 AP, and until I completed it entirely. Immediately after, I completed the entire Herald's journal as well. I like to avoid grinding as much as possible right now since I don't have the best pets. I usually grind on centaurs to use 20k acres fever per day as well as doing the Jatina daily but I felt like doing shurikens just for this day and I actually got the piece. No way. I only spent 15 minutes grinding and I never even got a pity piece yet. I have one pity in my storage and that was from doing the book of Margahan. Man, I feel good on this account. After that heck of a drop, I got enough silver to do Path in Greco. But then I was forced with doing this exploration garbage. So I had enough of that crap and decided to start the Fugger's journal instead. At this point, it was the last day of the week so I did the Tishira ruins for the weekly quest. No pot piece this time. To be fair, my pets were absolutely horrible for this pot. It felt awful grinding and having to pick up loot myself. Also turned in my fish for Fugger weeklies, but I wasn't able to do Barrier of Infestation weekly since I'm not yet level 61. After all that grinding, I had some more Tuvala ores to attempt a pen earring and we actually got it. The week has come to an end and so is this video. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next one.